So this is how 50,000 emails were sent from this account. Over 50,000 emails sent and this video is where I'll give you the exact steps you need to start sending thousands of emails to your email list and not just sending emails but sending emails that would land in their inbox folder. Now let's get into it. The first thing you need is an email marketing software and not just a random email marketing software but a very good one. One of the major reasons why you might never be able to send bulk emails is due to the fact that you are not making use of a good email marketing software and I can tell you this for a fact that we have majority of bad email marketing softwares believe me than the good ones so here is the email marketing software that I used and you too can use in sending out bulk emails directly to your email list now ConvertKit is the email marketing software that I use in sending out bulk emails so if you haven't heard of ConvertKit before probably you've been making use of the bad email marketing softwares I'm just joking though but now what I want you to do is I want you to come over to convertkey.com and I'm not promoting the site okay I'm not promoting the software neither am I an athlete for it okay I'm only telling you of its good work so I'm only telling you what is working for me and what can also work for you now once you are here on the convertkey um in a website you need to create an account for yourself so you will want to come over to this place here and you want to click on sign up right here and guess what they also offer a free account setup for beginners so for those of you who would basically want to test out the software you can use it for free for as long as you want to you can test out whatever thing you want to test out and get the result you want for yourself so once you've been able to create your account you should have a dashboard that looks like this so right now we already have our account created with a good email marketing software now let's move over to step two now the second most important step we use was to have a qualified email list so for those of you wondering how our emails get to land in the inbox folder and how we get to send thousands of emails that lands in the inbox folder of our recipient having a qualified email list is one thing you don't want to joke with now there is a difference between you having targeted email list and a qualified email list and there is one difference now listen to me closely now i want you to take a look at this this is something many of us have done so you come across a page where you need to input your email address okay and what you could think of was to use someone else's email address maybe your spouse maybe your dad maybe your mom or maybe your sister you get to use that email address and the problem is this the person's email address that you are imputing might not be interested in that so if you're going to be submitting such email address okay the person who wants this page is basically collecting a bad email and the reason is because even once this person starts sending out emails the person who's going to be receiving the email is not going to be interested and most times when we get to receive emails that we are not interested we tend to flag it as spam so if this continues I'm telling you for a fact that you are not going to be having a good email list so many people get to mistake having targeted emails for qualified emails they are both different things that you want to pay close attention to so I recommend you go with qualified email lists so you want to make sure that every email that you have access to must be verified from time to time so for you to be able to get to know that the email address or the email list that you have okay are all qualified emails you need to verify your emails constantly and I do this almost all the time I mean almost every day I constantly verify my emails so that I'm making sure that I have a qualified email list and this is something you yourself you want to do so you want to make sure you constantly verify all your emails from time to time I mean you don't want to be lazy to verify your emails constantly now to import your email list into ConvertKit it is very very simple and very very easy to do you can basically use ConvertKit as an email marketing software to send out bulk emails to your email list and for those of you who are wondering how do you get to build an email list or how would you get to grow an email list right now you can see the screenshot here on my screen there is a screenshot of me working for a client how I was able to help him get over 10,000 email subscribers in less than three months so I'm going to be making up a video featuring you the same ideas the same strategies the same steps that I took to grow this email list so if you want to see that video all I ask you to do is to subscribe okay subscribe turn on the notification bell icon so once that video goes live you would be notified by YouTube that hey what's up Charles has released a video and you come to watch that video and you will learn the exact steps that I used to grow this person's account from a thousand email list to over 10,000 in less than three months so for those of you who have your own email list already maybe you're making use of a different email marketing software before and you would like to change that maybe you're making use of MailChimp maybe you're making use of get response maybe system.io and you want to import your email list okay into convert kit 
all you need to do now is to follow me closely now you want to come here on your account and you want to click on the grow icon right here then you want to click on subscribers now you want to go ahead and click on add subscribers now you want to choose how you want to import your email list okay you can basically do this manually or via a CXV file and you can also import your email list directly from a different email marketing server so you're making use of MailChimp you're making use of email Miller Lite whatever Aweber you can directly import your email list into ConvertKit so me myself I'm going to click on upload as a CXV file then I'll just choose the email list that I want to import now once that has been uploaded successfully you would also get a notification like this from ConvertKit telling you that the emails that you are importing successfully has been imported so now that importation of our email list has been completed right before we go on to the next step okay if you are getting value from this video that I'm sharing or maybe you feel this can be much more better I want you to let me know by smashing the like button okay and guys I told you the truth is not gonna cost you anything I just wanted to just show me that love by subscribing smash the like button in appreciation and I'm so so happy if you've done that now let's move over to the next step okay very very important which is going to be on validating your emails you see many people get to avoid all those things and I can tell you for a fact that this is the most abandoned exercise of all time in the email marketing industry validation of emails many people don't know how to do this and the few people who know how to do this they tend to avoid doing it and the reason is because they feel oh I'm writing this myself so I should be able to send these emails and will land in the inbox folder of my recipient but I tell you this for a fact that making use of some certain words can trigger your emails landing in the spam folder of your recipient so this might sound as something not necessary but I tell you this that it is so so important and many people are not doing this so validating your emails now I want you to take a look at this okay you can see Anna here is basically sending me a Thanksgiving message okay telling me that after she was able to validate her emails it was actually getting up to 7% increase in box rate so she was basically getting 7% increase in all of her inbox rate you can see this is something you yourself you would need to pay close attention to now to check if your emails are spam free you can make use of a free email tester okay now let me show you how to do it you want to come over to gmax website and once you are here you want to click on product and then you're going to be finding a bunch of tools that you can make use of some of them are free and some of them are paid but i want you to pay close attention to this one right here that says see where your emails are landing okay so once you click on this you're going to be getting a bunch of email addresses that you need to send your email to first and once you do that, you're going to be finding the result right here. If your email is basically going into the spam folder, the inbox folder, or the promotion folder of your email list. So this is one way for you to validate your email. So what Gmax is basically helping you to do is that they'll be providing you with a list of email addresses that you'll be sending your email to. So once you send that email there, you're going to come back and you're going to be finding the result right here. You're going to be seeing if the email you just sent landed in the spam folder or maybe landed in the promotion folder of your recipient. Yes, this would give you um you know a clear data of how your emails was responded to okay and i know this too might not be 100 percent accurate but then you can use this to test your email if they are spam free to some extent and one other method that you can use is that you can separate a thousand email addresses that you will be sending your initial emails to at first then you will need to compare the inbox rate the click to rate and also this would help you check if your email is good enough for the inbox folder of your order recipient so you're basically separating 100 1000 2000 it all depends on the amount of email list you have so you want to separate you know a bit of it then you want to start sending your emails there first and foremost to that email address don't once you are sending there you're going to be getting feedback okay you're going to be seeing how many people are clicking how many people are reading where it is going so you get to track and see if the email that you are sending is good enough for the inbox folder of the remaining orders so now once you have a spam free email okay you are good to start sending out your bulk emails but i want you to pay close attention to this i don't want you to click off this video and go try out everything i just said yeah if you do that i'm telling you for a fact that you're going to be getting a good inbox rate but there is something else that i would like to share with you now one of them is this okay i want you to understand that sending emails from a custom domain is much more powerful 
powerful than sending from a random gmail account and now what do i mean once you start sending out bulk emails directly from your gmail account i'm telling you that you are going to be having a little bit of restrictions not just because you're making use of convert on so many other email marketing platforms it's always like that you're going to be getting restrictions why because you are not making use of should i call it a business email address and if you're not doing that it means that they can't trust you okay they can't trust you google can't trust you your email list can't trust you but once you're making use of a custom domain okay you're going to be building that trust and they are going to be finding you authentic so that would actually trigger your emails landing in the inbox folder of your recipient this is one cheat code that many people don't know okay you just feel that you can use random emails of course when i was starting out on um you know with email marketing i did that i sent my emails directly from my gmail account and i was you know trying to break through from sending out emails that would land in the spam folder and i realized that the very moment i started using a custom domain that's really helped me send out book emails directly landing in the inbox folder of my recipient and so many of my clients also do the same and that is why i said a cheat code for you so please make sure you get the custom domain for yourself one from google and it's going to cost you six to five dollars okay you can get a custom domain for yourself that would help you send out more emails into the inbox folder of your recipients so if you're sending directly from a custom domain you have higher chances of eating the inbox folder of your recipients now i want you to know that this is not me promoting the software like i said earlier right but if you can afford it i would recommend you go for a paid plan okay and the reason is because the free plan would only get you access to a thousand or thereabout but if you're making use of a paid plan you can do more than that at least ten thousand fifty hundred thousand it all depends on how far you can go so make use of a paid account if you can afford okay please note that if you can afford go for a paid plan and i can tell you this for a fact that you are going to be enjoying it because with convert kit you have access to enjoy so many great features on the paid plan compared to when you're using the free plan so me myself this account right here is a paid plan account i'm not going to lie i'm going to be honest okay it's a paid plan account and that has actually helped me to in some extent send out emails so if you also want to get results like this i recommend that you go for a paid plan if you can afford it so with all this information that you have from me right now sending thousands of emails is not going to be a big issue for you at all please just note every step that i share with you right now if you are really really serious about sending out book emails that will land in the inbox folder of your recipient you need to pay attention to every of the steps that i shared with you and also you can check out other of my youtube videos here on this channel like like yeah like right now here on this channel i have countless of videos teaching you how to make use of various email marketing softwares to send out book emails and that is something i love doing i love testing out marketing softwares you know once i find something that's really really interesting i come up here on my youtube channel and i share with everybody who is interested and most times most of the account that you guys see on the screen just like this one this is basically for a client that I am working for so i am managing this account and this is the result that we are getting and that is why i have what to say to you concerning how to send emails directly that will land in the inbox folder of your recipient so if you want to see more content like this i recommend you subscribe okay because from day in day out i'm trying out so many softwares trying to find out one that's working perfectly fine so i can come up here and share with you guys so if you want to get updates like this from the from me in the future i recommend you subscribe and lastly i know you have a question let me know in the comment section below so go watch all of my videos and learn how to start sending out bulk emails effortlessly bye